Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Actually, um, like tired because of work, but it, it, it is, um, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Hello, I'm baby. Fine. Hello, Laura. How are you? I'm really fine. What about you? I'm um, excellent, you know, just waiting for you. I'm actually sending a message right now to uh, in the group so we can join, okay? Hold on. So how was your day, girls? Well, the mine, uh -huh. it was really exhausting because I had too many things to do in my work. In fact, I didn't, I didn't finish, but I hoped I will finish tomorrow. I hope so. All right. All right. So it was, it was kind of tiring. Okay. All right. Um, what about yours, Laura? Sorry, guys. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm sending a message to uh, apparently Eric. Well, you can see the message on, on WhatsApp, right? So Eric had okay. a had a tragedy today yes. for instance so all right we'll see how that goes um anyways welcome uh emer welcome all right so remember guys to have the tech the camera turned on so we can go ahead and you know play games do the activities nice. all right so i'd like to know you know one of the one of the main purposes of these classes, so you can, you know, speak fluent, right? This is advanced three, all right? So you're not supposed to speak Spanish and you're supposed to participate a lot, right? So now, um, so let me hear about your days, okay? So Laura, how, how was yours? How was, how was work? Well, as I said before, it was, really really tired because I had too many things that to do in my in my job and I receive a, a lot of calls from the United States and I have to organize the distrib distributed distributors I don't know how the I say the distribution that. um the distribute no uh, distribution the people uh-huh the people okay. that uh -huh. So I have to do many things and also, um, well, just I took 20 minutes from my lunch because I, I had, I had had to finish. Okay. All right. That's great. But, but I'm, I'm fine because I'm here with, with you and, and I decided to learn more things and try to for work. All right. Thank you very much, Laura. And I'm sorry, yes, you, you actually told us that before, but I thought somebody else was talking. I was looking, I was in the message. But thank you very much, Laura. All right. Good job. Let's roll, Laura, guys. Good job, Laura. High five to you. All right. So who else wants to tell me, you know, how their day was? Two, three, six. We're missing two people, right? So who else? Let's see, uh, Sandra. Oh, you're muted, okay. Sandra. I'm sorry. Well, my day was really busy because I went out to hospital. I have a schedule one month ago, uh, a tomography, but that was all I did today, so I have to wait a lot of time there at the hospital, but it was kind of painful, but just for a couple of minutes. All right. All right. That's great. So everybody, everybody's day was busy, right? All right. Uh, let's see, guys. Who are we missing here? I think. Are we just missing one person? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it six people here? Hold on. Yeah, we're missing two people, right? Aside from uh, Eric, I think we're missing somebody else. 
All right, guys. So let me check the attendance right now. Hold on. So I got Laura. I got Emer. Oh, Morena Melara. We're missing Morena Melara. Did you hear? No, right? Claudia Toar. That's okay. Um, Sandra Basurto, Stephanie Palacios. All right, yeah, we're definitely missing people here. All right, guys. Anyways, so let's get to work. Today, guys, we're going to talk about clauses and phrases for contrasts and exceptions, okay? Now, one of the things that you have to know, guys, is that I will correct you on the spot, okay? Let me ask you something. Who wants to speak fluently? Do you want to speak fluently? Sandra, Laura, Carolina? Uh, Carolina? All right, very good, okay? Yes, so, of course. All right, so don't take it in the bat, you know, the wrong way, guys, if I, if I correct you, okay? Remember, it's everything it's just so you can improve, okay? Are you, what are you looking at? The, what are you looking on the screen right now? Are you seeing one presentation? Are you seeing one screen or two screens? Two screens is like uh, one okay. slide and the next one, but now it's. <laughs> All right, okay. I guess I'm gonna have to work like this today. All right, are you looking at one screen now? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right, all right, we're gonna continue like this then, okay? All right, very good, guys. So first of all, guys, what what's a clause, okay? By by this time around, guys, you should know what a clause is, okay? So you could tell me what a clause is. What do you think a clause is, guys? All right, let me pick someone, guys. Uh, let me let's let's but, let's wake up. I'll go ahead, Emir. Basically, uh. A clause is when you make two sentences and but you contrast one with other one. It doesn't matter if it's is one is positive and the next is negative, or both or could be positive. Okay, we are gonna talk about contrast. Yes, we're actually gonna use uh, conjunctions to talk about that. Okay, however, that's not actually the definition of a clause okay let me make life easier for you and I, I, I would expect you to write this down guys okay a clause basically is uh, a clause is, is just a group of words it contains a subject and a verb okay all right that's pretty much it a sentence teacher it's just a group of words it it contains a it contains a subject and a verb so it's like a sentence or a statement. Yes, it's it's like a very basic sentence. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you have different type of of uh, clauses, right? But again, I'm not gonna go into detail about what clauses are, guys, because this is like in previous modules. Okay. Um, today, guys, we're gonna see how to contrast them. So, who could tell me? All right. Or you know what, guys? Let's wake up. Okay. You wanna do something for waking up? All right, I'll take the, your silence as a yes. All right, guys, so if you show me, all right, if you show me, <laughs> show me something blue, guys, okay? The first person to show me something blue will be the person who gets to pick somebody else. There you go, Sandra, pick someone, Sandra. There you go, Sandra already had something. Mm, just let me see the list. Uh-huh. Uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. All right, Stephanie. All right, help me read, Stephanie. Where's Stephanie? Oh, there you go. Oh, Stephanie, you, you are muted. Tenés mal de teacher. Can you hear me now? Yes, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> sorry for that. That's right. Uh, clauses and phrases showing contrast and exception. Use while, unlike, and in contrast to in order to present contrasting information, spe especially in writing. While the typical Italian person thinks cool is boring, the typical Japanese person doesn't. 
Unlike the Japanese, Italian seems to drink a lot. I'm sorry, I, I can see a lot of bottled water. Thank you. In contrast to Italian drivers, Japanese people drive on the left. All right. You, you, can, you, you might stop there. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Good job. Hey, one clap for Stephanie. Good job, Stephanie. All right. Let's kill that one mosquito. All right, guys. So, very good. So, so Stephanie mentioned something. Okay. We're, we're using contrast here. Okay. And for contrast, we're using three type of conjunctions conjunctions okay so what are the conjunctions that you can see here let's identify them, right and you should have this down in your notebook guys okay can we identify the first conjunction here while while, while. very good okay while. right can we identify another one unlike like unlike very good all right can we identify another one in contrast, in contrast to, to in contrast. Very good, guys. Okay, so in contrast to. All right. Pretty good. All right. So now, guys, what is contrast? What do you think contrast is? Like the opposite. Very good. This is contrast. Exactly. It's like the opposite, right? So when you do something like that, like this, guys, okay, let's, let me. All right. So contrast, guys, would be something like like this, okay? All right, and this would be all right. This would be black, okay? Pretend that this whole thing is black, okay? Anyways, so contrast is this, guys, okay? What what color is this? It's white, right? White. All right, and then we got white here, okay? So does does the white color contrast? the black color and vice versa yes or not yes 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 yeah. it does guys okay all right think about another example okay have you ever heard like have you ever have you ever had you know have you ever been in a relationship guys where where um you know you got your your couple your toxic or toxic right <laughs> and she and she or he goes like you know what you're beautiful. You're amazing. I think you're very smart. But <laughs> so whenever they say but, guys, you know that they whatever they say, that whatever they said doesn't matter, right? Like, <laughs> but we have to break up, right? The only thing that matters there is that we have, you know, they had to break up, right? Has that ever happened to you? Or have you ever done that to someone? <laughs> I think. We girls are good teacher. Women, we are good. That's just for boys. <laughs> That's just for boys. Uh -huh. All right, very good. All right. But anyways, guys, okay, so that's that's contrast, guys, okay, right? Nothing else, nothing that you said previously in that example matters, okay? All right, very good. So we identified the contrast here, okay? So are we clear on what contrast is? Yes or not? Sorry, teacher, I didn't hear you. Are, are we clear on what contrast is? Oh, yes, I do. Very I'm good. Clear. Okay, all right. So we identified, uh, all right, we identified the three pieces of contrast here, okay? The three words that show contrasts, okay? These are called conjunctions. How do we call them? Conjunctions. 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 Okay, very good, guys. Okay, so let's take a look at the first example, right? So why the typical Italian person thinks school is boring, all right, the, the typical Japanese person doesn't. What is the first clause here? The typical Italian person. Very good. Why the typical Italian person, right, thinks school is boring, all right? So this, this right here, guys, okay, this is one clause, okay? All right, what will be the second clause here? What do you think the second clause would be here? After the comma, the typical Japanese Very person good. doesn't. The typical Japanese person does, doesn't, right? Notice something here, the guys, that uh, what is the subject of, of the first clause? What is the whole subject? Italian person, no. Okay, the typical Italian person, right? 
What is the verb? At least one verb has to be in the clause. So what is it's. the verb that we got here? It's. Very good. Okay, we got things, right? And is. And you got is, okay, but all right. So we got our first clause there. All right. And the second one, what, what is the what is the subject? The typical Japanese person. The typical Japanese. All right, the typical Japanese person. And what is the, the verb here? Doesn't. Doesn't, right? Which is an auxiliary verb, but we could do it like that, okay. All right, guys. So what is the contrast? What do you understand uh, with this? What is the contrast that we're seeing here? So let me ask you this, okay? All right. Who thinks school's boring? Italian people it or Japanese people? Italian. And Salvadorian. Italian people. Very <laughs> good, okay? <laughs> Italian, Salvadorians, Americans, almost everybody else, right? Yeah. The typical Japanese, I didn't know that. Do you think that's true? The typical Japanese person doesn't think yeah. it's boring? All right. Yeah. All right, that's, that's crazy. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So, uh, so what are we doing in this sentence, guys? Okay. All right. So, in the first clause, guys. Okay, what what grammar tense are we using here? Let's think about present simple grammar tense. Very good. All right. Present progressive teacher. The typical Italian person thinks school is boring. Okay, this no, is present simple. present. Present, simple present, present or present, present simple, right? Simple, right? simple right. present. Very good, okay. All right. Now, if we know, guys, that we're talking about, you know, um, that, that we're talking about school, do we have to mention school again in the second class? It's unnecessary. It's no. unnecessary, right? So whenever you're talking you're whenever you're contrasting guys okay you're not going to include the object of the sentence okay the object of the sentence is what we're talking about in this case what are we talking about we're talking about school school being boring yes or yes yes teacher. very yes. good okay very good. all right all right very good so far so good Yes. Yeah, teacher. If I quiz you, if I quiz you, would you get a hundred? <laughs> you're gonna, you're uh -huh. gonna do, you're gonna do a small quiz today. If that, that's for, that's for, for, for real, all right? Very good. All right, guys. So, uh, next example, okay? Oh, by the way, guys, all right? While represents usually two things at the same time, okay? But why are we using it here? You know, as a contrast, all right? These three things, guys, represent exactly the same, okay? Contrast, 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 okay? So you can use while or unlike. Could I say, guys, could I say unlike the typical Italian person thinks school is boring? Can I say that? Nope. No, guys, okay? So when you use while, guys, you have to use, you, you have to use, uh, a complete clause, okay? All right, so a whole sentence, guys, okay? When you use unlike, what do you see? What, what is this part in grammar? The subject. Very good, okay? This is only the subject, right? So here, guys, you have to use something that's called an independent clause, right? Because it doesn't depend on another clause. Here, guys, all right? We have something that is incom uh, that is incomplete. Okay, so if I say unlike the Japanese guys, what am I missing there? Am I missing any subject? Am I, am I missing a, a verb, perhaps? Yes. 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 yes I'm yes. missing. A, I'm missing okay. a verb, right? So what we do is that um, we we attach, you know, the conjunction unlike with a noun, okay, or with a subject, okay. Write that down, okay. All right. Unlike needs to be used with the subject, okay? Followed by a comma, all right? And then you can see here, guys, is this a dependent or independent clause? Italians seem to drink a lot of bottled water. What do you think? Remember, if the idea makes sense, guys, on its own, if you understand everything by just reading 
the complete sentence, then that is an independent clause, okay? So, is it understandable if I say, hey, hey, dude, Italians seem to drink a lot of butter water. Would you understand the whole sentence? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes guys, okay. So, that makes it an independent clause, okay? But, all right, you don't need to remember. I mean, you do need to remember, but that's, the, you know, that's from a previous, a previous topic, okay? But yes, guys, all right? So, what are we going to use when we use unlike? What comes after unlike? Subject. All right, very good, okay? All right. So, uh, notice, the, is this the same? Does this mean the same, guys? If I say why the typical Italian person thinks school is boring, the typical Japanese doesn't. I mean, the typical Japanese person doesn't. Is it the same as saying, unlike the Japanese, Italians, Italians seem to drink a lot of bottled water? Is that the same thing? Basically, yes, basically, yes, it does. All right. We're not talking about school being boring anymore, right? But what are we talking about here? What is the object of the sentence? Let's see. Um, let me check on you guys. Ruth, what is the object of the sentence here? What are we talking here? What are we talking about when we're when we're talking about unlike the Japanese telling him to drink to drink a lot a lot of bottled water? Uh, <clears throat> we are talking about difference between Japanese people and Italian people, I guess. Okay, but what is the specific thing here, guys? Read the sentence, right? What is this? What is the specific thing that we're talking about here? About drinking the bottle of water, teacher. Very know. good. Okay, drinking bottled water. Everybody, repeat. Bottled water. Bottled water. Bottled water. Bottle water. Bottle All right. Water. Bottle water. All right. Bottled water, guys, is water that it's in a bottle. Okay, they sell it in a bottle. Okay. So let me ask you something else. Who drinks? More bottled water, Italians or Japanese? Italian. 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 Right. Very good. All right, guys. So now, very good. All right. So now the conjunction and contrast here. Okay. So again, yeah. guys, can I say in contrast? In contrast to to the Japanese, could could I say that? In contrast to the Japanese. <laughs> No. Yep, but All right. I think yes, but you should have, well, you should change everything in the sentence. Like, in contrast, Japanese, Italians drive on the right, <laughs> I think. All right. That's a good example. Okay. That's, that's a very good example. Okay. Do my favor, guys. Everybody right now, send me an example in the chat room with, with one of them. Okay. So I want one example with while. I want one example with unlike, and I want one example with in contrast to, okay? All right, so everybody, right now, okay? Really good, okay? Meanwhile, I'm gonna ask one of you to give me your example. All right, uh, let's see. Let's see, Imer. All right, give me one example with the conjunction while. You're muted. My the teacher. Uh huh. You're still muted, Mary. Man. Okay. Hi. Um, let me see. While uh, we we were at night. While we were at night. Like this? Sorry, we are. <coughs> oh my god. Huh? We are at night. While we are at night. Uh, Japanese are waking up. Japanese people are waking up. Uh, oh, okay, all right. Let me change the structure. Is the, 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 the try, change the idea, okay? Well, you should say, well, it's nighttime here. Okay, nighttime here. All right. 
So this is how you say, while it's nighttime here, it's daytime in Japan. Got it? So that's good, man. All right, you have the right idea, okay? Um, that's that's just lack of vocabulary, but you have the right idea, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to think about another example, all right? And meanwhile, let me ask somebody else. Um, Imer, pick someone who likes to listen to Cheyenne. Ah. Pick someone who likes to listen to Cheyenne. Who wants to listen to Cheyenne? No, pick someone I'm asking. who likes to listen to Cheyenne. <laughs> I, I don't know who you likes to listen. Person. Doesn't matter, just pick them. Uh, Ruth. Ruth, okay, Ruth, let's go. All right, Ruth, <laughs> give me your example with while. With while? <clears throat> um, while other people? Uh -huh. No, to them. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I hate to dance. I guess. <laughs> or, okay. Now, yeah. now let me ask you something, guys. Do I have to say good job? Okay, good job, Ruth. Okay. Uh, do I have to say to dance again? Do I have to mention that? If I if I know if I'm already talking about dancing, guys. Should I talk about, should I say, you know, I hate to dance in the second one? Or could I say, I hate it? Could I substitute it with an object pronoun? What do you think? Which one is correct, guys? I hate to dance here or I, I, I hate it? I hate it. I hate, I hate it. it. Why? Laura, why do I say I hate it instead of I hate to dance? <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Take notes, guys. Okay. All right. Let's see. Morena Melara, why do I say I hate it instead of I hate it? Oh, I know. I know. Because right. uh, I have to add it at the end because it's, um, it's, it's the way in, in that you are talking about the, the activity or the thing that you are talking about it. Okay, because we can avoid being it, redundant, right? It represents the first part. Excellent, okay, because thank you very much, Laura and Morena, because it's already in the first clause, remember? So it says here, what other people love to dance, all right, I hate it, okay? Very good, super good, super, super good, okay? All right, uh, let me check your examples. I wrote an example, teacher, but I think it's wrong because I changed the the mean. That's okay, right? Let me ask. Let me ask, let me ask you guys, Laura, Ruth, well, everybody, guys, absolutely everyone. I'm, I'm waiting for your examples. I need one example with while, one with unlike, and one with in contrast to. Okay. So you should you should uh, send it right now, right? Meanwhile, uh, Carolina, let's see. While my handan. Okay. I don't know, Karina, what that was. All right. Uh, Sandra, while Salvadorian people eat pupusas, Guatemalan people eat chucos. Okay. Very good. <laughs> hey, what are chucos in Guatemala? I don't know. Bread. Oh, it's bread. Really? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. Is it's it chucos or chucos? Like they, I don't know how they pronounce it, but I have heard that it's chucos. Oh, okay. All right, it's nice like fact. <laughs> All right, very good. But good, good job. That was excellent. Okay. All right. You're still missing on like and in contrast to. Okay. Uh, Morena says, while my mom is watching TV. All right. Let's see if we if this one is correct. Okay. So while my mom is watching TV, I am learning. English language. This one, I mean, the, the structure for the clause is, you know, is almost correct. However, so what's wrong with this sentence, guys? While my mom is watching TV, I am learning English language. Stephanie Palacios, what's wrong with this sentence? 
Ah, uh, yes. I I am look I am look for the the error. Um just maybe the verb tense it could be in present things. All right. We already know guys that English is a language, yes? Yes, yes, yes. So we don't you don't have to say I am learning English language, okay? All right, that's that's a double noun, okay? English is already a noun. So the right way to say this, guys, is I am learning English, okay? Got it? Okay. So that is the mistake. Okay. So why? So let's correct that, all right? Okay. All right. Um, Sandra, unlike, unlike I go to sleep early, right? So remember, guys, when we use unlike, if I don't, guys, um, if when we use unlike, guys, what comes after unlike? What part of the, uh, what part of grammar? The subject, right? So if I say unlike I go to sleep early, unlike, comma, I go to sleep early. Is this a, is this a subject? Just I, the pronoun. All right. Very good. That's not a subject, right? I go to sleep early yeah. is not a subject, okay? Unlike, so what comes after unlike? What can we substitute unlike with, guys? And I'm still waiting for your examples, guys. Unlike everyone else. <laughs> Very good. Unlike everybody else, okay, or everyone else. All right. Let's build a sentence together, guys, okay? Because I don't see all of your answers here, okay? I'm still waiting for Laura. I'm still waiting for Morena. No, Morena, you got to hear it. Email you sent it, Sandra. All right, Ruth, Claudia. All right, I'm waiting for your example, girl. Your examples, okay? All right, so let's build this together. So unlike everybody else. All right, what should what should I put here? Uh, Ruth Ramirez. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Ruth. Yes. All right, so unlike everybody else or everyone else. Mm. Um, I love to read books. I love to read books, really good, okay. All right, applause for Ruth, guys. Good job, okay? See, this one is easy, okay? Let's go for another one. Claudia Tovar. Unlike, okay? Give me another subject. All right, Claudia. Oh, you, we can't hear you, Claudia. I don't know. Your microphone is not working. All right, let's go, Laura. Before you fall asleep, unlike what? Unlike wash dishes. Unlike wash dishes. Okay. Now let me ask you something. Uh, is this a subject? Wash dishes. Oh, no, awesome. I don't think so. All right, wash these dishes is not a subject. Okay, wash is a verb, guys. All right. So we need a subject. What subject do we use here, Laura? Any subject. No, no, Ali. Unlike she. Unlike, unlike her. Okay. Uh, by the way, guys, that's uh, it's good that you brought it up because here, guys, you need to use uh, an object pronoun. Okay. These are object pronouns. Okay. All right. Unlike her. Unlike her. What? Like her listen to music or dance. I listen at a party to music. Okay, so let me ask you something here. Who listens to music here? You or her? Her. Okay. All right. No, nope. it's the other way around. You're saying, all right, that she doesn't listen to music and you do. Got it? So that is the contrast, guys. Okay. All right. This is saying, okay, that Laura listens to music, right? You can substitute this with, uh, let's say Laura, right? Laura listens 
to music, okay? All right, so who listens to music, guys? Laura or, or her? Like Shakira, right? Let's, yeah. let's follow Shakira, right? Laura. All right, Laura listens to music again. Who does not listen to music here? Shakira. Shakira does not listen to music, okay? Good job. Close for Laura, guys. Good job. And I'm still waiting for your examples, guys. Uh, very good. So let's say Laura says, what's up, Laura, people? What movies? Germany people read books, okay? Read books. All right. Now the the structure is good, Laura. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that. Let's see. Gamer. I like motorcycles. All right. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Uh, while my mom is watching TV, I like I go to sleep early. While I work from home, my family watch TV, okay? This one is from Stephanie. All right. This one is from Stephanie, too. Morena, unlike Guatemala, Guatemala people. All right. Laura, uh, was of learning people, okay? Remember, guys, I need another example with unlike and in contrast, too, okay? So you guys are still missing that one. Uh, Ruth, while other people love to dance, I hate it, okay? Very good. This one is good. In contrast to doctors, veterinarians care for animals' health, okay? <laughs> Ruth, unlike kids, I can't run so fast. Very fast, actually. Not so fast, but very good. Unlike the USA, Central America has a hot weather. Good job. Unlike Sarah, I love the animals. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. So while I work from home, my family watch TV. Okay. Good structure here, guys. What's wrong with the what's wrong with this sentence? So what's wrong with you know, my family, while I work from home, my family watch TV. I didn't, I didn't add a C. Oh, okay, right. Oh, is this yours? Okay. All right. Uh, yes, guys. So where did you not add the Z? I mean, the, the, the C. Now, these guys, the structure, this is good, okay? All right, this is good, all right? Now, there is one mistake here that, that is not related to clauses, guys, which is this, this, okay? The verb, guys. My family, my family is third person. And what do you do when you use third person? S, we add S. Okay, you add an S, right? So, uh, what's the right way to say this? Yes, you're right. It is watches. Watches. Okay, very good. Okay, other than that, good job. Unlike Japanese people, Salvadoran eat fish with lemon. What's what's wrong here? Also, guys, get used to using periods. One of the guys. All right, please, please, please. Uh, I I will repeat this. Please remember to use periods. Okay. The reason why that is so important is because in the platform, on the platform, guys, you're going to have to solve problems, okay? And if you do not use periods, it will take the answer as incorrect, okay? All right? So just, just make sure that you, you, know, you get used to, to doing that. All right, guys. So, all right. So, unlike Japanese people, guys, Salvadorian eat fish with lemon. What's wrong there? Oh, you give up? People, guys, is it plural or singular? It's plural, guys, okay? All right, always Salvadorians. plural. Salvadorians. Salvadorians, okay, we're missing the S here, right? Very good. Eat fish with lemon, okay, good job. And we're missing a period, okay, good job. Unlike Guatemala people, okay, guys? It's the same. Imagine, yeah. imagine a gringo comes here and say, uh... You know, a, a diferencia de del Salvador gente, right? That would be incorrect, guys. You call them Guatemalans or Salvadorians, okay? And you know, guys, that when you refer to someone by their nationality, you already know that they are people, right? 
So you don't need to use people here. And this is Guatemalan, unlike Guatemalans, Salvadorians, here is people, wake up early, right? So what is the right way to say this, guys? Everybody, unlike Guatemalans, unlike Guatemalans, Salvadorians, Salvadorians wake, wake up early. All right, very good. All right. Very good. What Salvadorian people watch movies? Okay, we're missing the C there, but I... All right. Now, same here, guys. What Salvadorians, right? Watch movies. German, Germany people? How do we call Germany people, guys? German. Germans, okay. Germans. All right. So Germans read, right? This should be an A and this should be a D. <laughs> books okay other than that the structure is good all right um while other people love to dance i hate it this is good okay i'm gonna do that that one old, old ten guys all right in contrast to doctors veterinarians care for animals health okay all right this is good too okay all right and a plus for you guys all right so any questions, guys? Questions, questions, questions? Can I move on? All right, if, I, if you don't ask me questions, I will ask you guys. So do me a favor, okay? Finish, if you have not sent me uh, an example with unlike and with in, in contrast to. Go ahead. Yes? Contrast to it have the same structure that as while they are just the same. All right. Uh, in contrast to other people, in contrast to what you said. All right. Yeah, you can use it like that. Okay. Or you can use it, you know, with, with nouns, right? All right. But well, good question. All right. So we got to move on, guys, um, but good, good question, right? All right, guys, so let's take a look at the second example, right? So this is, these three conjunctions, guys, we use them for what? <laughs> we use them for what, guys? What are we talking? All this time, guys, what, are, what have we been talking about? Compared to classes. Very good. We use it for contrast. We use it for contrast. We use it for contrast. Okay, right. So these guys, all right. This is contrast. Okay, all right. Very good. Now, guys, we're gonna talk about exceptions. Okay, all right. So let's talk about exceptions. So what phrases, okay, do you use for exception? Can you identify them here? Let's take a look at the first example and see if you can identify them. All right. So who'd like to help me read that, guys? Beautiful. Okay. Whoever does not answer this question, guys, is going to be my participant, okay? Everybody, unmute yourselves, okay? Go unmute, guys, okay? Because I want you to answer this question, okay? So, name creatures, name one creature that lives underwater, okay? So, Whales. for example, dolphin. All right, no, but I'm going to ask you, okay? I'm going to ask you. If you don't answer, in three seconds, you will be my participant, okay? You ready? All right, very good. So, let's start. I'm going to start from, you know, Bottom to top, okay? So, Morena, name of creatures that live underwater. Three, two, well, one. What? I, I can understand you. Name, all right, name of creatures that live underwater. Fish. All right, very good, okay? <laughs> all right. Carolina, same question, go. Uh, jellyfish. All right, Ruth, three. Two. Um, One. Shark. Very good. Okay. Uh, Claudia. Three. Two. One. All right. Claudia. Plus for Claudia, guys. Good job, Claudia. 
I think her internet just got stuck, and that's why she didn't answer. Oh no, she's she's there. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. All right, help me read, Claudia. Oh, her mm -hmm. audio doesn't work, huh? All right, let me keep going then. Sandra, name more creatures that live underwater. Seals. All right, Carolina, go for it. Crab, again, I said it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you mentioned it. Okay, Laura, five, four, three, two. No, <laughs> I didn't know. Turtles? Turtles, okay. All right, yeah, actually, turtles. Yeah, very good. All right, Ruth. <laughs> Once again, Ruth, five, four, three, two, one. Ruth, let's go, you're my participant. <laughs> let's go, Ruth. Uh, I have to read. Yes, just help me read. Okay. Use except that except for and except for the fact that there's no exception. Both like to be is that the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Okay, all right. Italian. You, can, you, can, you can stop there right now. Hold on. I'm going to mute you all right now, guys, just because, you know, it's too noisy, okay? Laura, if you're so kind, would you please unmute yourself so and continue? All right, you got to unmute yourself, okay? There Sorry. Go. Both like TV, except that the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Italian and Japanese people are are fairy. I can see well, very different, except for the age they get married. Japanese people typically consume less except for the fact that they drink more tea all right sounds good good job thank you very much bless for ruth guys good job ruth awesome okay mm -hmm. guys so all right so ladies and gentlemen gentlemen um what are the phrases here for exception except that except for except for the fact that very good okay so we use except that Except for, or except for, except for the fact that, okay. All right. So this is just it means what 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 you think that mean, that means in Spanish, guys. That's exactly what it means, okay. All right. So when we use when we use the word except, guys, only you can say except that, or you can skip that, okay. Saying that is absolutely optional. So I can say both like TV, except the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Or except that the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Okay. So I cannot listen to you very well. Did you? Can everybody else hear me? I listen well? to much noise. Okay. Ah uh, yes. Okay. Um. But that's. <laughs> All right, guys, just uh, if you're not participating, guys, I would ask you to just go mute. I love to hear you participating, but um, just so we can pay attention. All right, very good. All right, guys. Anyways, uh, let's move on, guys, okay? Those were just examples, but let's move on, right? So, again, guys, how many, how many conjunctions do we have? We actually have a lot, guys, but what are the conjunctions that we're using for contrast today, tonight? Three. All right, we're using three, right? Very good. Which are they? While well, unlike, unlike. Very good, okay, good job. All right. So, uh, we already went through the examples, guys, okay? So, what do we use except that, except for, and except for the fact that? And these, you should have it in your notebook, guys, okay? All right, so what do we use these conjunctions for? Exception. We use them for showing exceptions. Very good job. Okay. All right. So, uh, quick note, guys. When conjunctions come at the beginning of a sentence, the two clauses are separated by a comma. Okay. And this is like for everything, guys. Okay. Every time, guys, that you start a sentence with a conjunction, you're going to separate it by commas. You're going to separate them by? Comma. A comma. Commas. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. Okay. How do you feel, guys? How do you feel about this topic? 
You think that you're ready to ace the exam? Awful, awful. Awful, awful. All right, we get an awful, awful. Uh, what about the rest? Is it awful, awful, or how do you feel, guys? If you have doubts, guys, okay, uh, bring them up, okay? Now, uh, I think that you, you understood, guys. Listen, um, I'm going to say this in Spanish because I don't know how well you're, how good your listening is. De acuerdo a los ejemplos que ustedes me dieron, las, el, el, el tema de las cláusulas que estamos viendo en ese momento está entendido. Lo malo es que tienen problemas en otras en otros temas que no tienen nada que ver con eso. Tienen problemas en tercera persona, tienen problemas en plurales, tienen problemas en vocabulario. All right. So that is from, esos son de nivel, de nivel básico, guys, okay? So anyways, pero el tema de, de el tema de las, um, well, this, de las cláusulas, I think that's, I would, I would say in Spanish, right? Was understood pretty well, okay? So I'm glad that, that you understood that part, okay? So, but my question, guys, okay, do you have any question or do you need more explanation on, um, on this topic? What do you think? You good? It's so good. You feel good, Morena, Carolina, Imer, Claudia, Sandra, Stephanie? Just practice, teacher. All right, yeah. very good. Very, very good, okay. All right, guys, yes, we're gonna practice right now, guys, okay. Um, actually, do have this part here. So, uh, first of all, guys, how to be fluent, okay? So every time that you're giving an opinion, and you should have this down in your notebook too, okay? Also, guys, whenever, listen, one way to understand something is whatever you're learning, be taking notes, okay? All right? Because if you're falling asleep, guys, all right, or, or doing something else, you're not going to understand nothing, guys, nothing. They could be teaching Spanish, you know, and you're not going to understand because, all right, you need to be taking notes, okay? So how do you, how do, how do you be fluent, guys? All right. So if you want to be fluent, guys, in any language, okay, always talk about the what, okay? Talk about the what, talk about the why. And within the why, talk about the how, the when, and the where, if it is possible. So we're, we're going to start off, we're going to start off with, in my opinion, in contrast to America's, we don't value global warming because, right? So what is the what here, guys? What is the what? What is the topic? What is the thing that we're talking about? Global warming. Global warming. Okay, very good. Okay. So then I'm going to go with the why. And then I introduce because, right? Because our, our culture yeah, doesn't thanks. care about that. All right. Hey, if I, ask, if I ask you about your favorite movie, you know, my favorite movie is Saving Private Ryan. Because it's a movie that that talks about Second World War, war uh, the Second World War, um, whose, uh, whose protagonist is, you know, blah, blah. And it develops in Germany. So I'm talking about the who and, and the where, all right? And I'm talking about the when. I'm, I can tell, I can say that, you know, it it was made in, in uh, 1944, et cetera, okay? Why am I saying that, guys? Is because you're going to practice, all right? And this is the question that you're going to practice, okay? What are some... Some differences Salvadorians, uh, Salvadorians have, okay, I forgot that, okay, okay, compared to other nationalities, okay, all right, so it's 8.54, so we're not going to have time to do this right now, but we're going to kick it off tomorrow with this, okay, so how would, how, how would you, how would you start the conversation, or how would you start an opinion like this, guys? Let's see, Emer. Hi. All right. How would you start, you know, your answer like this? In my opinion. Okay. In your opinion, huh? In my opinion, Salvadorians are a different culture than another. <laughs> okay. In my opinion, right, in contrast to, unlike... Let's say that you compare yourself to Guatemala, guys, okay? All right. In my opinion, in contrast to 
Guatemalans, Salvadorians, Salvadorians what? Have different slang. All right, have a different slang, okay? Very good, guys, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna um, call it a night, guys, okay? And um, I'll see your faces tomorrow. Now, before we before we leave, guys, okay. One thing that I want you to make that I want to mention is, uh, please work on the platform, okay. And uh, it's only four weeks, guys. You're, we're only gonna be here four weeks, and not even like complete four weeks, guys. We're gonna be here four four days. So classes are from Monday to Thursday, okay. So we do not have a class on Friday, All right? So if you miss, so it's only so what's you know, whoever's good at math, okay. What's four times four how many days 16. is that 16 16 okay so we're only going to be 16 days together got it so it's very important that you um it's very important that you um don't miss any class guys okay and if you have any question if you have any question regarding the topic go ahead you know hit me up on whatsapp if you think that i speak too fast or something guys if you don't understand what i'm you know when i'm talking because because of my speeder or something you know please uh, let me know, okay? Because um, cause according to me, you know, you're all able to understand. So um, that's it, all right? Any questions? All good? All good, good, good. All good, right. Teacher. All right, guys, let's work on the platform, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for coming, guys. Bye, teacher. Good night. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.